What is going on people welcome back to the channel so we have double weapon xp over this weekend coming and that will be in cold war zombies multiplayer and also in warzone with the new release of the amp 63 pistol i'd highly recommend jumping on and getting that to max level and to unlock the akimbos purely because this is so good in zombies at the moment i'm not too sure if you've seen other people's videos but this gun is absolutely insane and i'm literally going to bomb through it straight away to get the akimbos using the double weapon xp on the screen here i was just doing one of the defense in 5ac and i believe i got to round 15 and the pistol was already level 11 so pretty much is roughly around every level so if you guys obviously are looking to get loads of xp i'd highly recommend doing this low round purely because that is when you get the most xp also as you can see here this is just me using the pistol non pack punched and then obviously i then pack punched the weapon also with the new patch 1.17 we have had a few glitches change obviously in my last video i covered the toxic growth glitch that is no longer a thing unfortunately you know as i said in my last video we could see it coming however today i'm just going to show you a few glitches that you can use at the moment that are still working in the patch i've tested them all today which are great for headshots and also we have a god mode glitch in 5ac which is still working which requires a teammate so if you enjoyed today's video leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel make sure you have the notifications turned on so you don't miss a video in the future and let's begin with the first glitch of today's video so there are quite a few on 5ac but unfortunately not very good for headshots in my opinion this is the best one to use at the moment this is the scorch defense glitch very simple you jump up on the sandbags you come back the tiniest little bit and as you can see here zombies pile up underneath you if you've done correctly there is an ammo stash literally right next to you all you need to do is drop down and it's dead easy to get into the glitch ring of fire unfortunately doesn't work however if you pack a bunch of weapons get it to obviously a decent level and obviously pack a bunch level three also i'd recommend getting the dead wire because obviously all the zombies pile up in front of you and bunch together this will be very very good for the high rounds anyway let's move on to the god mode glitch so this glitch is on 5az and it's dead easy to do it just needs obviously a lot of timing so first of all you need a teammate and you need tombstone so from here you then want to down yourself and enter tombstone shadow you then want to wait for the black bar to go all the way down so basically the red bar to go down to nothing and then when there is nothing there your teammate wants to pop in healing aura and then as you can see there if done correctly you will come up loads of green stuff will go around your screen and you'll be revived now this is the important bit of this glitch you will not be in god mode at this point you need a mimic and he needs to down you pretty much by bringing you in as you can see here this is what i mean he hits you grapples you in with his mouth and obviously that's when he kills you you will literally go straight dead you won't be able to go down you know your teammate won't be able to revive you at this point you'll be spectating your teammate this is when you'll be in god mode when you spawn back in as you can see here all the zombies avoid you and if your teammate does actually leave the game or if he does a god mode glitch as well pretty much the same process of what you've just done here then all the zombies will completely avoid you and will pile up in certain areas around the map so obviously you can one of you can take one pile one of you can take the other or if you do solo you know you can just use one pile and get those xp that way and obviously headshots will be dead easy because the zombies will stay still as well so in my opinion this is a very effective glitch to do also like i said you can have more than one person using this glitch anyway let's move on to the next one so for these glitches they are all on d machine and they were in my last video obviously if you haven't checked it out and obviously you can stand here i'm just going to quickly bomb through all these glitches that are still working the first one we have is the van glitch all you're going to want to do is open up the door go down into the pond then you want to jump onto the van run into the pole as you can see here if done correctly your legs will start to float in the air and all the zombies pile up in front of you very easy glitch to do and obviously they will stand still so it's very easy to get headshots with and obviously you get camos the next glitch we have is in the crash site which is near the plane glitch the first one here because there is two of them can be quite weird to do it, sometimes it can work sometimes it can't but all you need to do is jump from a distance and jump up on the side and if done correctly your legs will start to float in the air the zombies pile up underneath you very simple to do once you've done it because you'll pretty much get it all the time very good for headshots anyway the next one we have is the plane glitch which is just around the corner all you need to do is jump a pole from a distance again and if done correctly the game will push you to the right and your legs just start to float in the air very similar to the one that i've just shown you so obviously one can take one and one can take the other if you are doing duos or obviously if you're doing trios another person can use another glitch but out of the two i'd recommend doing the second one anyway we have the steel cage glitch and also the katana glitch the steel cage glitch you can use ring of fire in and it is very very effective for headshots because you are literally right next to them as you can see here i'd say there was about 15 zombies there and i think i only got one or two non-critical kills so in my opinion very good also if you are pushing for the amp 63 
you have to use pistols and get 400 critical kills. So again, very good. Here is the container glitch. Again, you jump up, come back to the tarnish a little bit. This is okay for headshots, but I'd recommend using the steel cage glitch out of the two. The next one, we have the furnace glitch and the last glitch of today's video, actually. Very simple to do again. You jump up, come back to the tarnish a little bit, and the zombies pile up underneath you. This is located in the medical bay and is opposite speed cola. So my opinion, the best glitches out of all of them would probably be the steel cage glitch if you are looking for camos. But obviously you can go on fire base C if you have more than one person and use the god mode glitch. I would say use that one, like I said, if you aren't solo. But yeah, people, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. There'll be an all working glitches video out tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It'll be Saturday on the night time. So like I said, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Have the notifications turned on. Also, like I said, don't miss that video tomorrow. And as always, take care.